In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I use my embossing folder and my trusty die cut machine to emboss the matting for our cards. Stay tuned. Hello again, my crafty friends. We're going to continue creating these cards. Last time I showed you how I cut with my scissors and using a ruler and a pencil. So I have my pieces. These are still five and a quarter by four. And then I have some diagonal pieces, five and a quarter by four. And this one I cut down so that this, the matting is five and a quarter by four. And this is approximately five by three and three quarters. Divided in half, of course. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take this piece here. I'm going to emboss it in the folder. My suggestion would be to cut the piece first to whatever size you want, size, shape, and then put it in an embossing folder. I have a Tim Holtz Vagabond, which unfortunately I can't find anymore. I found one on eBay and that was it. This is the platform. And this is an extra plate that you would use when you use thin dies. However, if you're going to emboss using an embossing folder, you don't use this. You just put your plate down. You put the embossing folder with the paper inside and then you just cover it and you run it through that way. You don't use this extra piece. Voila. Now, if you recall a couple of videos ago, I said that I'm not a big fan of a lot of space in between the pattern paper and the matting. But in the case of embossing, I absolutely am because you do want to see some of that. And I'll show you my collection of embossing folders. I have so many that there really is no excuse for an undecorated piece of paper, even if it is matting. So let me attach this. You may also use glue on here because of the embossing. It might need a little more strength to keep the piece on. And then we would put it on our card like so. Or, like in this case here, you've got your five and a quarter by four. This is a piece I've had for a long time. These are 12 by 12 originally. And to me, it fit this pretty well. You can take this whole piece. Say you can emboss one piece or the other. This is the piece with the unembossed matting. And then you can take this and emboss it and I'll show you that. Okay, depending on the thickness of the matting you use, you can get a really nice deep embossing. So here is this. We're going to make a portrait style card. Like so. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and put this together.
because I did not cut this like I should have, it's going to go all the way to the top and bottom of the card. Okay, how is that? All right, next video, we're going to put a sentiment here and maybe some decorations. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.